Hey guys, I'm Lee from Lee Likes Music, the place to share, explore and learn about rock music from Bandcamp. And in today's video, we're going to look at two singles from a band called Waves. The singles are called Daisy and You're Welcome. So that's coming up. So for you guys who haven't heard about Waves before, they're basically a band from San Diego, California in the US. And they are a band that goes and dwells within the genres of surf rock, pop, punk, and alternative rock. They have released many great albums such as Afraid of Heights in 2013 and King of the Beach that came out in 2010. That last one is an amazing record. And if you haven't watched my review, you can find a link to that review in the description below. Anyways, let's just jump right into the uh, track reviews here. So the first track is called Daisy. It came out not too long ago, I think in April actually. And this track, along with You're Welcome, the second track that I'm gonna review in this video, these are both off of their newest record, which is also called You're Welcome, and that is coming out during the 7th, 17th, so yeah, I'm really excited for that, but uh, let's just jump right into the first track here. So during the start of the song, we hear these two guitar layers. One of the guitar layers sounds very country, quirky, hillbilly, lap steelish, while the other one is providing a rhythm in the background. It is actually quite a fast pacing song, and uh, 53 minutes into the song, it leads you into the pre-chorus, and, and this is quite a surprising um, transition instantly at this point all of the instruments and all of the vocals shoot up in terms of volume and this sudden change of production and leveling and, and mixing is something that waves are very famous for ever since the beginning they have been very well known for being kind of lo-fi leaning towards lo-fi and even no-fi uh, during their first albums, so this is not really a surprise, but it's still a surprise to, to see that this is still an ongoing thing within the band, and I kind of like it. I have one big problem with the song, and it's the fact that it is so simple, it's nimble, and it's also passable. I mean, this these are traits that many of their previous songs have had, but the thing that this song is lacking is creativity. There's nothing that excites you about this song. There's nothing intriguing about it at all, except for this one point at like 53 seconds in where the volume becomes a lot louder. But other than that, the melody feels very vague. It feels overly simplified. There's nothing really exciting or special about the structure of the song either. It's, yeah, just very passable. mood is okay, I guess. It strikes this balance between something striving, quirky, a bit oddballish, and something positive. Production-wise, I can hear that Waves are going for something that is a little bit more polished. They used to be a bit more noisier, and you can hear this on Afraid of Heights and King of the Beach, and especially their first two albums. This is very obvious, uh, but they're a bit more polished, a bit more uh, yeah, fine-tuned on this song right here and many of the other songs or singles that they put out during the past few months as well. Now, if we look into the lyrics of the song, you can see that Nathan Williams tried to create a fictional narrative that kind of involves himself, but it's written in such a half-assed, half-finished way that there is really no interest in looking into the lyrics for me at all. I was just looking at it and okay <laughs> those are the lyrics verse number one looks like this here's the pre-chorus and here's the chorus so yeah very repetitive if you look at the verse it really doesn't make sense at all and um you know a lot of his lyrics from his previous songs follow the same pattern of being very sleazy and and weird but for some reason i get the notion that he didn't actually put any effort into this and uh yeah, I don't know why, that is just my intuition telling me what I'm supposed to feel about this song, so yeah. So that's Daisy from Waves. I'm gonna give this track a 3 out of 10 because it was really freaking disappointing. 
Now, moving over to the next track, we have Your Welcome, which is actually the track that is the most similar to um, out of all the four pre-release tracks that we have from this new album. It is very similar to Million Enemies, I feel. Both of these tracks are kind of leaning a little bit more towards hard rock and alternative rock, um, and looking away from this previous established style of surf rock and pop punk. And that is one of the things that I really love about Waves in the first place. They're never afraid of trying something new. They're never afraid of going a different lane compared to the lane that they took before on their previous album. And uh, yeah, that is good here. They're, it's good that they're trying something new, but I just felt like they were channeling their energy in a weird way on the song and on several of these pre-released songs. It, it feels the same way. It feels sloppy, it feels generic, and it feels like they actually put less of an effort into this. Maybe that has something to do with the band actually gaining a lot of fame these days and becoming more popular. I don't know, maybe they just gave up on what they had, or maybe they are just out of luck when it comes to creating music. I have no idea, this is just me rambling about what could have actually happened to them, because I don't feel like they are... They're not, they're not even close to the quality of what they created before. When we talk about the structure on the song, there's a very, very simple structure. It's a lot more accessible and repetitive even compared to the uh, other pre-release track, which is called Million Enemies. It literally goes from verse to chorus, from verse to chorus, then there's a bridge, and then there's a chorus again, and that's the song. If you're wondering why my visuals here are becoming very bright, why suddenly the image becomes so much whiter and brighter, it is because the sun started to peek in directly at the lens. Again, this is something that waves are familiar with, it is something that they've done before, but now it's just taken to the limit. It's like they're milking their own style, almost. And what was really interesting is that the lyrics, compared to Nathan Williams' previously style of writing, actually make sense. So this is the verse. Sand trap, heart attack, pulling on a cigarette, low life, your life, sharper than a hunting knife, new sun rising up, filling up the empty cup. So what I think Nathan is tapping into during this verse is just how awful life can be at times. You know, it feels like a freaking knife. It feels like you're, you know, you have so much pain in your life, but at the same time, hey, what can you do? You just have to appreciate it for what it is. And then it leads you to the chorus, which goes like this. No, sorry, this is the pre-chorus. Still I'm smiling, laughter fills the sky. One by one, you'll thank me. And here he is kind of saying that, oh yeah, although life is really shitty and we just have to cope with life at times, the hardships and the pain that we're feeling continuously, um, there still are some highlights. We can still listen to great music and uh, I am creating great music, so, you know, this is making you happy and you don't need to thank me. I know it will make you happy and, and light your day. <laughs> that is literally what I feel like he is trying to say. That's the back end of the envelope, kind of, of the lyrics here. In the chorus, he sings, You ain't gotta mention it. You're welcome, welcome. So the audience wants to thank the band for actually making their day and their festival or whatever, wherever they're seeing waves. They want to thank them for making their time so great. And the band is telling back to the crowd, hey, you don't need to thank us. We're, you're welcome. It's just what we're doing, guys. So yeah, it's a positive and striving song. It's very simplistic, but honestly, I didn't feel this one that much. I personally like the really raw, experimental, and just energetic style that they had on their previous albums. You're welcome. It was actually a track that I could, like, move my body to and I can actually stomp my foot to it and um, it's an okay track but it's nothing more than that it's not sticking out at least it's better than freaking Daisy so I'm gonna give this track a 5 out of 10 
All right, so that was it for today's review, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of this and for watching. Uh, if you want to listen to more rock music from Bandcamp, if you want to share, explore, and learn more about rock music from Bandcamp, then I highly suggest you click the red subscribe button below and also click the bell icon beside of that subscribe button because in that way you'll always get notified when I upload new videos to YouTube. Thank you again for watching guys. Hope to see you later. Stay tuned. Bye.